Second is with regards to the depot tahanan. At the moment, we have identified the three depot tahanan. Uh, Semenye, Bukit Jalil, as well as Sepang. So our action plan is just like a enhanced MCO. We go to the centre, the three centres, and then we, uh, we screen everyone, uh, whether it's a party, orang kena tahan, or even uh, uh, the staff. So we have done that for the three. But now we are discussing in terms of uh, other detention center. We have uh, 14 detention center uh, and one and four uh, in uh, Sabah, manned by MKN. So what's more important is that today we have no cases reported elsewhere. But the procedure, we have to look into the procedure again. Those admitted into the detention center, uh, whether they need to uh, be screened or whether they need to be tested. So I think we are formally, uh, formalizing uh, the protocol for uh, the admission. But certainly the request is for us to screen and, win and test everyone before they've been admitted to the deten detention centre. So that uh, uh, we do not have such, uh, what you call that, uh, outbreak uh, in the detention centre. So I think this is something that not only detention centre, but also in prison, but also in other detention. So we are looking into this seriously, uh, whether there's a need for us to do so. But at the moment, we are focusing. If there is an outbreak in a certain, uh, certain centres, we will come in and do like EMCO, like what we did uh, in Masjid India and other places. So EMCO helps for us, help us in terms of to contain uh, the infection and the positive cases will be admitted to the hospital, the negative will be isolated and quarantined.